Hey, Tim Sykes here. I hope you're having a good weekend. The Olympics have just started, and I absolutely love it because I always get so inspired by some of these athletes' stories. Um, our first gold medal winner for the U.S., his name is Red Gerard, just a 17-year-old. And I want to tell you about his story because I think that there's a lot of crossover lessons for what it takes to be an Olympian, uh, what it takes to win a medal in the Olympics, and what it takes to be successful in the stock market or really be successful at anything uh, in life. So I'm just going to read some of this uh, article about Red. This is him, funny little kid. He actually swore on live TV when he won. Um, this is what I love though, where, you know, he is just 17 years old. Um, he wasn't really aiming to be an Olympian. He was just learning snowboarding in literally his backyard. Um, he says, I just think day by day, so there was never really a time when I was like, I want to be an Olympian. Uh, so the lesson here, you know, is like, look at this. His ability to cope with Olympic pressure could be due to his lack of obsession with winning at the games. A lot of athletes and a lot of you guys put way too much pressure. Like, I have to do this. I have to be a millionaire. I have to make the Olympics. And you crack under the pressure that you created for yourself. He says, I just think day by day. And what am I always saying? Just take it one trade at a time. You know, a lot of you guys say, oh, I want to make $100,000 this year. I want to make a million dollars. I understand that you have big dreams and it's good to have goals. But at the same time, take it day by day. Take it trade by trade. There's not as much pressure and you will be surprised at how quickly you can make money in the markets or how quickly, you know, this 17-year-old kid just took over an entire sport because he has the right attitude. Um, look at this. He finds his own creative ways when he's competing. Um, you know, they say his competitor says he's going to be one of the big names. Um, he wasn't even born when snowboarding made its debut 20 years ago. Uh, where was it? So his family moved to Colorado. Um, seven children to a farm in Colorado. One of the brothers recognized that the land was perfect for creating a snow park. Um, so the project was quickly energized and it wasn't long before kids in the neighborhood were getting towed to the top with dirt bikes. Practices even lasted into the night after lights were installed. This is such a key passage where these kids have no ambition of, you know, being Olympians or saying, Hey, I want to be, you know, the absolute best in the world. They're just having fun literally in their backyard and they're using dirt bikes. They're using lights. And they're practicing day by day. Look at this. Excuse me. Practices even lasted into the night. So a lot of you guys are like, oh, Tim, I have a nine to five job or I have school. I can't be in the stock market. Study at night. Okay. You don't need a whole snow park. You have the internet. It's actually a lot easier to learn to become a stock trader and to learn everything you need on the internet. You don't need to use anything. You don't need to live in Colorado. You don't need to have lights installed. You have the internet. It's actually far easier if you have the right attitude. Too many of you guys don't though. Um, I like this. He says, I, I never thought I'd learning tricks in the backyard. There's been some injuries, a lot of concussions. I've ate some serious crap back there for sure. It's a dangerous little park. So this is a great lesson where there will be downfalls. There will be mistakes. There will time be times when you lose money in the stock market but you have to keep going. I always say this is a marathon and not a sprint. That's what you have to think about, okay? Even the literally Olympic champion of the world right now has had a lot of concussions. He's fallen a lot. He's made a lot of mistakes, but he kept going. Too many of you guys quit when something bad happens or you're like, oh God, I'm not you know, moving forward. I'm not progressing as much as I thought because you don't have necessarily the right attitude. And Gerard helps me explain it to you. Um, I love this. So he's only 5'5 five five and 115 pounds. Um, this is a great little analogy here where a lot of you guys might not have the ideal situation to be a millionaire. You know, like either you start with very little money or maybe you don't speak perfect English. I mean, one of my top students, Stephen Ducks, barely speaks English. Um, a lot of you guys think that you have to be good at math. You don't. Um, even this small little 115 pounder who just won the Olympics is finding ways to succeed no matter his situation. And no matter your situation, you can find ways to succeed. If you're starting with a small amount, okay, well then 
guess what? You have nothing to lose. You have no excuse because you have nothing or hardly anything. So you can train harder than somebody who has $50,000 or $100,000. Or, you know, if you have a full-time job or you're in school, well then study at night, study on weekends. You don't have to trade right away. A lot of you guys think, oh, I need to trade like from day one. No, if you think about your path to becoming a millionaire and your path to becoming a successful stock trader as a marathon, trading is not necessarily important in the beginning. Um, it's not about the money that you make or lose for the first month, two months, three months, six months. It's about practicing and learning good habits. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I like this. Uh, mo many of his daring moves were inspired by his friend Sage. Uh, I like this in a comparison because you might know I have a thing called the trading challenge. Excuse me. I got to cough one sec. That's better. I paused it. Um, I have a trading challenge where we have a very cool little group of students who really help each other and get inspired by each other and learn from each other. And I know a lot of you guys want to do like meetups, but trust me, newbies leading newbies is not the right answer. Um, my trading challenge is because we have everything really organized. We have a whole curriculum and it's a very tight knit group that we've specifically designed. And frankly, that's where all my millionaire students have come from. So don't feel like you have to learn from other newbies. Learn from me. Learn from my trading challenge. Learn from what we've set up because I understand that, you know, trading can get lonely. You want other people to help you. Um, just like, you know, Red was inspired by his friend Sage. Um, get inspired by my top millionaire students. Learn from my top millionaire students. If you're a trading challenge student, you have access to over 50 Tim Grittani webinars. They're all archived. You can see him trade live. You can see him answer uh, questions. He has now turned 1,500 into roughly 6 million in six or seven years. So get inspired and not just get inspired, but actually learn from my top students. Um, I love this where he says uh, his parents and all of his siblings were on hand Sunday to see him win uh, and his cheering section held up giant cutouts of his face. This is great. You know, I know a big problem with the stock market and becoming a stock trader in penny stocks is the fact that very few people will believe in you. Um, I know way too many families and friends who say, oh, penny stocks are a scam. Stock trading is a scam. Tim Sykes is a scam. And they don't support anybody in their wanting to learn. Um, and I get this from a lot of students and it's kind of sad. So I wish that stock trading and penny stocks were more acceptable, like snowboarding. It was like if it was an Olympic sport. But at the same time, we are your family. Um, literally, my family works together. My mom, my dad, and I it's our little family business. Um, and we kind of have a cool little group, like I said, with the trading challenge students. We are your family. So if nobody else believes in you, if everyone says, don't do it, guess what? I know that sucks, but we are here for you. We are a trading family. And we cheer each other on. Um, anytime I have a new millionaire student, I actually have a new millionaire student that I have to announce uh, very shortly, very proud of this upcoming student who is closing in on uh, $1 million. Just had a great conversation with him a few days ago, so stay tuned for that. But it's it's a group effort. you know. We try to help each other learn. We try to support each other when nobody else will. This is not a scam. I am not a scam. My strategy is not a scam. Um, you know, The U.S. stock market just got crushed in the past week or two. Uh, we're now 10% plus off our highs. And guess what? My top students and I didn't lose a dime. You might have seen a video that I put out uh, roughly two weeks ago saying, preparing for a potential stock market crash. And I fucking nailed it. You know, I didn't necessarily short. I wasn't saying like, oh, this is definitely going to crash. But I was prepared for a potential crash. And I prepared everybody who watches my videos. So the past two weeks, unlike everybody else, guess what? We're okay. And our family is succeeding because we are here to help each other. And it's kind of beautiful. Um, I love this where, uh, you know, his mother says, I told Red before he went out to compete this morning, just ride like you're having fun with your brothers. Keep it fun. It doesn't matter how it all goes. And I say this to you guys too. 
Um, it doesn't matter how much money you make or lose in the beginning of trading, okay? Um, you need to keep it fun. You need to find what style works for you, what patterns work for you. We're all different and you have to make it fun because this is going to be a marathon. So if you are dreading trading or if you are scared of trading um, or if you're trading something and you're like, God, I, I hate this, you're not going to want to partake in this for the years that's required in order to study and to learn. So I'll tell you this, just like Red's mother said, keep it fun. And I'll say keep it fun. I know that it's more fun to make money than lose money, but you really need to think of this as a process rather than thinking about the money. If you make or lose $20 on a trade or $50 or $100 in the beginning, it doesn't matter. And the sad thing is I see too many people's messages where like, I made $100, I love this game. And maybe they didn't make $100 in the right way. Maybe they use leverage. Maybe they went all in. Maybe they're trading one of these bullshit uh, three times leverage ETFs. And you're just gambling. And that is not a way to success in the long run. Versus some people who lose $100 and maybe they cut losses quickly. They follow the rules. And then the stock does exactly what they want. And, you know, they're angry that they lost $100 because they're judging the trade uh, based on how much they made or lost. And they're not judging a trade based on how well they stuck to their plan, how well, um, you know, they, they created their plan, how disciplined they were. Sometimes for me, a hundred dollar loss following my rules is a better trade than if I make a hundred dollars or even if I make a thousand dollars, not following rules, breaking rules, trading random patterns. Um, you need to help me help you. Uh, I want you to focus on how can you become a millionaire over time. And whether you make or lose $100 in the beginning or even $1,000 in the beginning, it doesn't matter in the long run. But good habits will propel you forward versus if you are making money using bad habits or trading random patterns or gambling, that will hurt you immensely in the long run. And it's so difficult to uh, you know, explain this because so many of you just judge everything based on your wins and losses. And I wish that there was a way, you know, maybe we should build this into profitly or something where there's a box that you can check off um, where it says, you know, did you follow your rules? Did you follow your plan? That to me is much more important in the beginning. Later on, obviously, you know, if you have a big account, you know, the difference between making and losing $50,000, that really does matter. But in the beginning, if you start small, it's all about keeping it fun and learning good habits. Um, you know, I love that Red has only been doing this a few years. I mean, he's only been alive 17 years, but he's really only been doing this a few years. And you will be surprised at how quickly you too can succeed in just a few years if you listen to me, if you follow these kinds of rules. Um, so it's pretty sweet. Anyways, this was uh, Red Gerard's. Um, little story here and I really just see so much crossover so I hope that these lessons help you understand your journey a little better uh, you know when the stock market is crashing or, or when it's slow you know you don't have a lot of 20% 50% 100% winners like we did just a few weeks ago in any one given day so frankly I haven't been trading that much I've been protecting I've been trying a few dip buys here or there um, I've been trying a few uh, long overnight plays on, on first green days um, here and there. But at the same time, when the market is slow like this, focus on studying. Focus on refining your process. And, you know, watch the Olympics. Get inspired by these stories. Um, it's an amazing time to be alive. It's an amazing time to study, not just because of the Internet, but because of where the market is. Um, I think that, you know, hopefully we have more downside, you know, it's actually healthy for the market, even though it's not fun. Uh, you know, we, we've been up way too much the past few years without a, any serious correction. So this is good for the market. I wouldn't be surprised if we bounce right back to the highs too, but I'm going to take it day by day, just like red has always been doing. I'm not going to put too much pressure on saying, Oh my God, I must find the next hottest stock. I must play the next stock perfectly. I understand that this is a process and I want you to understand this too. So leave a comment underneath this video saying, um, I love Red Gerard. 
those four words if you're inspired by his story like I am. Thank you. I'll see you in the chat room tomorrow.